The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Remember, we got a big jobs report coming. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. Sound as a pound, huh? Remember that uh, Austin Powers line? Well, let's take a look at the pound and how sound it is. Uh, gonna have my, I don't know if we have our charts up yet, um, but uh, what I'm showing ultimately here. Okay, we got our charts. Thanks, Al. Al, if you guys never talked to Al or met him, the guy juggles a million things on the tech side for uh, for TFNN. I incredible work he does there. Um, taking a look at the pound, you know, we talked about this a little bit even yesterday afternoon. I had Steve Banger on the uh, Tom O'Brien show, and I, I was doing the fill-in for Tom. He's uh, working real hard down there in Costa Rica right now, so we're we're kind of covering for him while he's on a special work trip in Costa Rica. Um, but as we look at the pound, you know, we talked yesterday about, man, what's, what's the possibility of this thing bouncing? When, when is it kind of showing the green shoots that it, that it might be okay to get back in the water and start trading this from the long side? You know, this is the 240. Um, this is all in the scanner, uh, all these inflection points. But I'm looking at this, you know, we had that consolidation below on the daily and again, this is the hot topic out there. So we had the big sell-off, the Brexit situation that I didn't buy the lottery ticket puts on at 140 that we talked about. But I talk about things and sometimes don't do them. I'm an idiot. But we consolidated below this profile here around 133. That's really, you know, you get the bounce, you kind of get back, you start spinning around. Then you make the next move down. So the cool thing about this, and we talked about this while it was happening is you could play defense around this 133.10 area on the short side and wait for this type of new painful situation to happen for longs. Uh, this morning, we've had some serious action. We're trying to recover a little bit here. So, you know, how do you play this now if you're just waking up? So here, going down to the next time frame down, we're going to take a look at the 240s. Now, if you're going to try to play a bounce here and maybe have a little bit of a chance for this to rally back up into former support now resistance type situations, you've got some inflection points around 132 that general area 132 so from the breakdown 133 you play defense before that's your new selling point resistance around 132 or actually 131 let's be to the tick here 131.76 into 132 and if you're going to try to play that bounce you've got a chance to play defense with stops below on the long side 128.85 I really you know I don't think that you know, this is a relatively wide profile, even for a 240. I think we're just in the phase where we, you know, would rally possibly back up into some inflection points up top and sell off again. But, you know, we may have a chance. You know, a lot of times these fair auctions are completely explored. So if you're going to play a bounce here, in my opinion, you could just kind of do a little bit of a wait and see. We're kind of in no man's land if you're just waking up right now. No long-term leverage to lean against here. The only thing you've got is 240s. So you could kind of play some long defense around 128.85 and just be able to, you know, put your stops below there. But right now you could kind of let the market come to you, in my opinion. Um, and again, you know, this is kind of rolling the dice if you're just waking up and just wanting to trade this without some places to focus on. Let's take a look at the euro. Getting the move that I thought would happen, but it's not it's not exactly you know with a lot of uh on fear if I can use that word. So we we've talked about looking at this with a long-term play 
on the euro with a kind of a short euro and, and long in the money cause. We talked about trying to lean against this POC again on the short side, 111.43.44, and revisiting ultimately this 108.86, 109 neighborhood. I'm still feeling really good about that possibility. The, the, the news this morning, technically, though, is you've got a new profile. You've already hit the bottom, and this will be kind of like playing that British pound. Let it come down and, and give you a chance to really get a high probability trade-off. We may go back up and revisit this 110.95, and that will be kind of the new selling point as the 240s a lot of time will just kind of regulate the trade in that particular direction. But I will admit that with all the things going on, it seems – that we should be heading lower more so with the euro and uh, that fact alone that we're not is you know a little concerning i mean if if any type of good news comes out this thing could rally back up into 112.95 just be prepared for that make sure your stops are in uh, if you're doing the long term no shakeout trade that's you know you've got the insurance plan on the short euro, euro in the money calls but uh you know, 109 is the ultimate targets on that particular trade right now, and that's what, eh, 160 pips more on the downside from where we're at right now. Well, the 10-year, you guys know about this one, and the so-called safety play into the yen at the same time, which I just don't understand at all. Let's go be safe and... Uh, put our hopes and dreams on the Japanese economy because it's so safe. I, you know, right now, uh, 101.33 was kind of the big line in the sand here. I'm in a wait and see mode on this, uh, but I think you still, you know, this is, this is one where I think the 100, 101, 101.33 is still a decent support area. So you could get a really big move in this on the upside. And this is one kind of similar to the Euro trade. It's, it, it's, it's awful to get stopped out of a trade. I hate it myself. But, you know, if you're looking for a long-term possible 1,000-point move back up or 1,000-pip move back up, you know, you're, you got a, a really good risk reward down here. And you can do the, you know, buy the yen, buy the end the money he puts in this case and just kind of wait it out. Because if you're, if you're not paying a lot for the insurance plan by buying the end the money puts on a trade like this, Check it out. You've got a very defined situation, and you're looking for a bigger move. And if the you know if the yen goes down in that particular strategy, then you're pretty much going tick for tick for the options being covered. So take a look at that type of trade. If you want me to branch it out in an option kind of strategy on eSignal, I will. If you guys want to see that set up, Canadian dollar talked about oil possibly causing this to bounce a little bit off the 128.505 that's happened up about 200 pips from there if you can see that again these inflex points are all in the scanner and finishing up the currency scene Australian dollar kind of compressing hanging around this 7481 but we're going to talk about that when we get back folks TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Hope you guys caught the uh, amazing FBI assessment of... Um, should I call her Princess Clinton? Is that how's that sound? Um, that guy had me going. You know, I thought, oh my God, Comey's—they're going to indict this little princess. And uh, last last part of the conversation is, well, you know what? No harm, no foul. No indictment. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm speechless. There's no way to even comment on it. Except that, uh, you know, Watergate really pales in comparison to some of the stuff that that couple has been involved with. And she was involved in Watergate, so she knows the boundaries. She was one of the, the failures in the Watergate situation. She got slapped back then. And uh, read up on that one. So she's well aware of the boundaries of container of the container, and um, man, unbelievable, literally unbelievable. Let's take a look at the ten year. <laughs> In honor of Princess Clinton, we're going to look at the ten year. Here's the ten year. Well, you know what? Uh, this is, you know, again, you know, this is like beating a dead horse. When is the madness over with the tenure going up? It's not over till it's over. Um, and and you know, as 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 wacky as it is, and as I know you guys understand that this is going to end so freaking terribly. As a trader, you can't try to make sense of these things sometimes, and it is what it is, technically speaking. And they haven't stepped off the gas pedal with this trade yet, and you don't need to stand in the way of it. Um, so we have no, we got breakouts again on the 240s. We've eclipsed all, you know, recent all time highs. This is actually above where Brexit fears were, believe it or not. Um, and there's, you know, a lot of factors in play here. Steve and I were talking on Tom's show yesterday about some relationships out there involving arbitrageable global rates and 
safety plays and blah, blah, blah. And again, you know, stepping in front of this thing is dangerous. Uh, we talked about, you know, market kind of showing some shakiness and the 10 year rises and the market kind of going up and the 10 year going sideways. You can't ask for a better situation as a trader than things like this showing their hand. Kind of amazing. Again, this show is dedicated to Princess Clinton. Here's the S&Ps. So we've kind of backed into almost a couple of ticks down into this 2065 area we talked about, or 2064 rounded off. Reached the low this morning, 2066. So again, that's where you're looking at possibly playing some defense. We've rallied a little bit off of that general area. But I, you know, I don't see a lot of direction in the stock market here. I didn't see this big rally coming like it did. But you know, right now, you, you know, currency wars are out there. Safety plays, blah blah blah. U.S. markets probably not going to like that. So we're probably going to, you know, just churn around here. But again, you've got a little bit of a place to play defense. Twenty sixty four on the September S and P five hundred contract. Here's the weekly, just to kind of point this out. Just kind of floating around right in the middle of a profile. The bottom 2033, the up, upper limits are 210. So let's just call it 2100. So we're pretty much smack dab in the middle of a profile. Not a lot of leverage here. So day traders, 2064, something to lean on. I hear you, Mark, in the den. Comey didn't want to come to, uh, probably wouldn't have been an ultimate death. It probably would have been some kind of new virus strain. You know, like that a Rumsfeld had invented when he was in there. Um, that they were, they were going to inject his kids with or so. Who knows, man? I mean, really. Here's crude. Yeah, ultimate death, I guess, will be the word there. You're right. But maybe not a quick death. Not a soldier's death. Here's a place to play defense on crude, 4566. Talked about waiting until this little puppy got down into it. We've reached a low of 4592. Um, you don't want to see things kind of get off of inflection points and go right back to them. I'll admit that one. I'm a little concerned about trying to buy this right now. Um, but day traders, you do have something to lean on. Uh, oil may just kind of slough off here a little more. You've got to keep your eye on the dollar a little bit on this one. Here's the dollar situation. Here's the uh, 9576 area. And again, kind of involving crude to some degree. This is a type of action that we normally like to see in the long term for this to kind of make another move up. You've got support short term on the dollar around 9596. Why is that the case? That's because the 240s right here. Here's the new support on this 9596 on the short term on the dollar. Going through the usual suspects here, we're going to take a look real quick at the British, at the uh, FTSE, excuse me. New profile attempting to appear. You got these in the scanner. Now you got to wait and see on the FTSE. You know you're going to have some impacting new inflection points to hit there. So you got to wait now. And the long trade, to some degree, sitting still right now. You're going to have to wait for a new profile and new inflection points on that one. Nikkei got barraged overnight, but, and here's the long term on the Nikkei. There we are. Here's the good news. If you're trading Nikkei futures, kind of like the U.S., you got a little bit of a little floor to lean against there um, for day trading. That floor in the scanner, the details of it, 30 year. Where's the 30-year yield today? Somebody called it out yesterday. It was 2.17. Where are we at today? I'm just looking at the at the uh, at the uh, underlying instrument itself. Gold. Uh, well, you know, talked about blocking out the short side on this one, and I missed that yesterday. God, dang it. That really upset me. I didn't pull the trigger on that 1345. As you can see, regulating the trade up, there there is zero reasons to be short this thing. I mean, we, we're going to have pullbacks, folks, but uh, you want to be 
buying support, buying breakouts, buying support, buying breakouts. 1358 now, new support on this one. That's your retest. And again, we can, we can easily pull back to that area, but that's where you're going to be looking to pick a battle. The ultra short term on gold. Well, 1358, 1361, that's going to be your kind of buy support area on gold right now. I think you just got to sit tight right now on gold. Beans, new crop. Ooh, ugly. We're going to talk about this one, folks, when we get back. 1015, 1016 is going to be the ding, 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 ding area for November beans. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations there's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity he'll give you the entry price price target and stock price of each stock and option trade with Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EvaBank's new limited-time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally rated performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY or periodic rate of interest is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. God, I hate to fall in love with a trade. Don't do it. Don't fall in love. God, I hope this euro goes just mega south. What did what they? What did uh? What did the guy in uh, Shawshank Redemption say? The guy who played in an electric company. Remember that Morgan Freeman? He started out in the electric company on uh. I think before Sesame Street or after Sesame Street, I'm, I'm totally disclosing my childhood now. 
He said, hope is a terrible thing. Hope is a bad thing. Don't put hope in trading. All right, here we go. Yeah, gold, um, that 1358, 1361 area is going to be a big support area for gold right now on the short term. Um, but again, I think you got to, you, you, you know, trading, trading gold on the short side down into those areas is a lot scarier than waiting until we get into support or waiting for new breakouts. Gold is, uh, gold could be a very good long trade for a very long time. Talking about parking money. All right, XLF, uh, what are we at? Okay, so again, I'm not looking at 2204 to buy this thing. Um, I'm looking for it to get south of there significantly. The utilities, man, what an easy, easy trade this has been. Here's a long term. This is what you like to see, that spinning around action, sitting around top of the profile, boom. Catapult, this trade's not over. Don't take the hedges off your portfolio by dismantling the utilities. Don't do it. Not yet. Don't rotate out of it. XLE, taking it on the nose a little bit here. Uh, printing this morning looks like around uh, 6676. Here's the XLE. You've got crude on support right now, and the XLE is obviously down kind of bottom of the profile on the daily, not looking terribly bad here. But going back to crude, just to kind of re-reference this for guys joining us late, here's the big number on the weekly. Just like beans, I want to kind of reference this back to November beans. When we had these reversals and get right back down into those major inflection points, those are not good, and they usually are, are peers. So I'm not really super excited about being long crude, and therefore... Um, the XLE may, if it holds up, uh, when crude start, if crude starts diving a little bit here, um, that's something to pay attention to. But I'm not really excited <coughs> about buying anything oil related right now. We talked about the range on oil on the long term being this 45, 66 up into 51.45 right now. But we could do a little bit of a flush out here below this profile. So watch out for that. I know we took it pretty hard for crude yesterday but again things on our lows can go lower and we are sitting around lows right now and we could test some folks will and it was really nice how goldman sachs coming late to the party and crude started talking about getting long right up in here <laughs> we talked about this on the show what a month month and a half ago month and a month and a half ago that's when i started looking at crude with some suspect eyes And we could test the will of some longs here. Be aware of that one. Let's go back to beans for a second. Um, you know, the big talk that we were right before the break, we were talking about the dint, 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 dint number, the back the truck up number. I think you got to sit tight on this one. 1015, 1016 is going to be a very, very ripe area to play this. And right now you're kind of in no man's land in free fall. I don't have to tell you guys that on November beans. It's, you know, this is. This is like trading Yahoo back in 99. It's going to have some volatility to it. The edge right now is towards the short side without question. 10, 15, 10, 16, big numbers there. Yeah. You know, but talk, Mike, talking about Goldman Sachs and what they put out, you know, they can look terrible in the news. But their positions kind of tell the story. If I've got a big position, um, let me tell a program or something. Um, if I've got a big position, a very big position, and I want to get out of it, guess what? On the long side, I'm telling people it's time to go long. So I can get out of my shorts. Maybe a little bit of that in play, because I don't think anybody's that stupid. Apple. Scum. Yeah. That's a good word for those folks. You know, I, I don't know if you, I told this story before, but I had a I had a meeting with them scheduled when they right when they moved over to Jersey City across the river there from uh, Manhattan. Flew up there, 
scheduled everything, actually put on a tie, which was very, very weird for me. Just canceled the meeting. Screwed me completely. That's the day I started hating them even more. Talking about Goldman Sachs. Personal vendetta. Opening up to you today. Here's uh, Apple. So you remember, we, we talked about the ultimate targets on the short side were this 91.76 as we were kind of leveraging off 98.64 on the short side. We reached those targets and we said, you know what, we got to wait and see. We have to wait and see now. And now, um, this morning we're trading 94.50. In my opinion, you've, you've had a market kind of lift this thing back up. That's been great. Gives us a chance to short it again. And now you can play defense around 95.12. So the good news is Apple's still on a downtrend. We've reached the targets that we talked about. This has been a great trade. And now you can possibly revisit this 91.76 area. And the good news is that's a great risk reward scenario that, uh, you know, you're kind of hoping, hope and dream for to use words that we shouldn't be using when it comes to trading. There's a lot of people. Have you guys looked at the, uh, if you go to uh, Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, there's a, there's a couple of guys on there that will do a commercial for you in a Morgan Freeman voice. There's a, there's a guy on there that's really good. He sounds just like Morgan Freeman. So you can go to Fiverr and kind of hire somebody for next to nothing to record Send him text, and he'll, you know, he'll do the Morgan Freeman voice, and uh, do your commercial for you. Sounds, the guy sounds just like Morgan Freeman. I can't do it. I'll tell you a story about Fiverr. I'll show you a commercial that we actually had done on Fiverr by a, a girl um, on Fiverr. It's, uh, it's hilarious. I'm going to send it in to Al at TFNM. Maybe he can play it on the break sometime. Whenever I'm down and uh, depressed, I always go back to that video that, that we had done on Fiverr. It's like, makes me laugh. Um, here we go. We're going to see how the, uh, the ultimate longs are doing here. Facebook, we're going to come right back, folks. the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software 
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Oh, God, I found the video. Here we go. Please let this come up. Let me turn off the sound here. TSA market profile. This is the video we had him do on Fiverr, and um, I think this girl is in high school. We, we, whenever we get depressed, we go back to the to this video. She has kind of like the high school kind of face. It's, it's uh, I'm sorry to digress there. We'll look at silver. Let's get back to business here. Nobody gets a kick out of that except me, I guess. Here we go. Let's take a look at the September contract. I'll send it to Al. He'll post it. You guys will completely laugh your brains out. Here's silver. I'm coming back. Um, I'll, I'll, Al, I'll send it to you, and then you guys can post it. You'll probably thank me for it. It's it's like the go-to comedy piece of all times. Here we go. Felt sorry for. Her. I mean, I went through every emotion watching the video that she did for us. It was like anger, sadness, happy. You know, maybe for her, not for me. It's a lot of a lot of things going on when I watch that video internally. Silver. Here we go. So new profile edging higher, just like we've kind of looked at. You know, the the long term view, without question. Here's September silver. So you you can't stand in the way of something once we start you know, breaking out of long-term profiles, balanced areas. This is way better than the cowbell thing, Tammy, that video. It, this thing, it could go viral. That's how funny it is. Um, she even said she even said our name wrong. Instead of saying TAS, she was saying TSA. It, it, it's, uh, I'm stopping. So silver, as we start breaking out of the weekly, then you kind of look, got to look downstream to, to lower term time frames to try to, you know, give you an idea how to regulate the trade. You always want to talk, you know, try to take the trade and trade in the direction of the so-called trend. And, you know, blocking out the short side, that's been the case, looking for the opportunities on the long side, nothing to hang on to on the daily. So we kind of drill down in the 240s. And I love these 240 profiles, just love them. So support now on silver is, all things considered, 1975. 1975, guys. Okay? Whoever asked that question about silver, that's the drill on silver. Kind of similar to gold on that 1358.61. I think silver's on a relative scale, kind of 1975. Uh, I thought we had bad prints in silver yesterday. Morning. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Uh, but just because, you know, we have had these you know, kind of massive runs up, up and then pullbacks, you still have to look at this as buy the support opportunities, in my opinion. All right. Somebody actually sent an email about this one, International Paper. 
there's I don't see a lot of leverage there. I think you got better ways to spend your money than that one. We're going to take a look at McDonald's. We've kind of been looking at this. We got back above. We closed above last week. We talked about this one, waiting to get back down below 1967. I still think that could be the case. So I'm just kind of waiting, waiting, waiting on this one this week, guys. 1967, 1928. If we can just clear that, I think this thing could take another little whoosh sound on the downside. Netflix. Had a couple emails about that one. Don't see a ton of leverage on this one either, but I got to go to Tesla now. All right. Talked about the uh, big points now, 202 and 233. Nothing doing yet on this one, so no way to, in my opinion, to trade this from the long side or the short side. We're going to hit the scanner really quick. And as you'll see, you know, still got some breath positivity here on the long terms. So you might have a little bit of a trading opportunity again on the S&P's 2064 defense below there. We still got to kind of just keep our stay the course on, on how we normally look at these particular long-term inflection points and where the internals are, relatively speaking. ETS, I'm going to go here. And I'm, there's no mystery on this one. The utilities are uh, just top of the heap here. Let's drill into the energy. We had a, this SWN little stock that we've kind of constantly gone back to. Let's take a look at this one. Here's the daily breakdown that happened yesterday. No mystery to anybody. But the good news is on SWN, and the reason I'm pulling it up is because the long-term inflection points are really, really powerful. Here's the 1154. We've gotten down into that area. These are the charts within the scanner. And that's a really cool situation. Let me see if we're printing this morning at all on SWN. And I'm moving things around too fast again. John from Philadelphia, I'm going to try to slow down. And we are going to look at coffee here in a second. So this morning we're trading 1143. That big number is, as we just stated, 1154. So still around that inflection point, hovering around it, still within the noise level. And when I go to the scanner and I look at SWN, I see bottom there, right? So this is showing, not showing today's prints on the weekly and daily yet. It is showing it on the... Uh, on the short term, ultra short term, 240 and 60. But as we look at this, there's 1154, and it's telling you that we're, we're, we're at the bottom. We're still within the 10% of the height of the box math calculation noise. And uh, might not be a bad place to try to pick this thing up, even though I'm not super bullish on crude oil right now. We could have a little bit of a play defense opportunity here. Crude oil's at that 45, 66 area. Let me just re put this up and bouncing up a little bit off of there but nothing to write home about just kind of sitting on the bottom of a profile as we talked about before oil may pierce here so uh just be wary if you're looking to buy that buy that bounce on uh on swn here's the xle sector uh going back into it let's do a little no breakouts on the XLE stocks, as you can see. Breakdowns, as they say in North Carolina, viola. ConocoPhillips, a couple other ones that are kind of racing past. Uh, let's take a look at FMC Technologies. So if you're looking for stocks that haven't really cooperated lately and are looking a little bearish and you think crude may kind of pierce that 4566 area, 2663 you can play defense on FTI, which is FMC Technologies. My goodness, Valero Energy. Ooh, things in our lows go lower, guys. Breakdown again yesterday. This is breakdowns on the XLE. Let's go back to our dashboard here. And let me get a something that uh, somebody was asking about in the den, coffee. Is it September? Is that what we're looking at? Guys, we'll be right back.
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, Gartley's, Butterflies, ABC's, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see next on TFNN. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Looking at Amgen, I was looking at downtrend reversals. Well, the by way of this formula in the scanner. One of the only ones that, that popped up, uh, Amgen. So we've had a decent run up. We've gotten back above profiles here. Um, obviously a healthcare stock or healthcare sector stock. Why are things, I'm hearing things again. Uh, 152.96 support on this one. Um, let's take a look at the breakdowns here, quite a few of them, as you can see. Breakdowns, breakdowns. Let's take a look at breakouts. So kind of an indicator in itself. Uh, out of the S&P 500 stocks, here's the two that are so-called breaking out. Let's just take a look at Kroger. Interesting little situation here in Kroger. Uh, Kroger? I've been watching uh, Seinfeld too much. 36.42, weekly unfair highs. 36.68 daily unfair highs. So we've had a little consolidation breakout. As you can see, these profiles profiles are kind of cool. Um, can play defense on that one, in my opinion. Looking for a, a stock that's kind of shown some strength in the middle of all this lately, past day or two. Here's Genworth. Eh, not too excited about this one.
Good comment in the den on, on Princess Hillary there. All right. So that's the break. Uh, so if we go back to breakdowns, there's opportunities galore on this side. Um, but remember, we are at yeah, 2064 on the S&Ps, a little bit of support area there. Um, don't know if we're going to have any follow through today. But this British pound is, is concerning, to say the least. Let's go back to that. And here's the big inflex points. If you guys are playing this on Nadex, talked about this earlier if you joined the show late. This is the big number down below, 128.85. I'd wait for that to come down to that area if you're thinking about trying to play with fire here on the long side or if you're just being patient and waiting to turn the rinse the same way and be, you know, have a nice boring situation, which is always good. Let it rally up into these areas up top around 132, that general neighborhood on the pound. Sound as a pound. Sound is about, I'm starting to listen to Trump too much and make those sarcastic one-liners. Here we go. Euro, we talked about that, 109, ultimate targets down there. The yen, um, I'm still game for looking at this on a long-term hedged play on the long side. Don't know how safety -ish that actually is, but it is what it is. Let me get back to my right chart here. Here we go. All right. We're going to take a look at IBM really quick. This is one acting extremely well, in my opinion. Um, Brexit kind of took it apart for a little bit, but kind of hanging in there. Keep your eye on this stock. Um, we get any type of new market recovery. This is one that could really go north, in my opinion. I can't believe I'm saying that about IBM, but the action looks pretty good on this particular stock. Just to get last minute inflection points here, um, tenure coming off a little bit right now, but again, I think you got to be looking at support on this 133.15 guys on the tenure. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for Larry. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.